Hey guys, you know what time it is. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot to bring my Diet Coke in here. <sighs> That's embarrassing. All right, let's try this one more time. Hey guys, you know what time it is for me. Of course, it is time for now my Diet Coke break. And today I'm filming in a little bit different um, location. Actually, that's not true. I am still in my living room, but I'm not over there, down there, on the floor, in front of that fireplace, because frankly, I'm sick of sitting on the floor to film videos. And even though I do like the brick behind me, I don't know, I was just, I need something different. And I don't know why I never thought to actually like sit in like, you know, an actual like chair before. I have no idea. But anyway, this is working better for me today. So let me know what you guys think if, you know, you prefer sort of this kind of setup or if it even really matters because it probably really, really doesn't. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a really great day. Today, I am filming a huge, this thing here, well, yeah, as you can hear, uh, is full of empties I've been collecting for months because you guys know I've gotten way before far behind on my videos, which I apologize for. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you know that normally I do something called four minute empties where I put a timer on for four minutes and I go through as many empties as I can in four minutes and then I just do the rest another time. That, however, is not gonna be the case with this empties video. I'm gonna make this as fast as possible, but this might be like four minute empties times three, maybe. So like 12 minutes. I'm, I'm going to try not to make this go over 15 minutes because I don't like making super long lengthy videos normally if I can get around it. But I do have a lot of empties and I do want to go through them as fast as I can because I really need to get this trash thrown out so I can collect some more trash. So if you want to talk trash with me for the next, you know, 12-ish, 15 minutes or so, then I would really love it. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, the first two things I have are both um, shampoo and a conditioner match from Pantene. This was the Pantene Damage Detox with the Mosa Mint Oil. Oh, uh, that's what this looks like the label. So anyway, I had the shampoo and the conditioner. This smelled really, really good. My hair felt really soft whenever I finished using both of these products. And use both of these. They smell really good. I really, really enjoyed those. And drop my trash on the floor. Then I have deodorant that I always wear. This is just the Dove Advanced Care. This is just the original clean formula. Um, Dove is my favorite deodorant. It has been for a really long time, so I finished that, so that worked great, as it usually does. This is from Avon. This is from the Skin So Soft line. This is the Fresh and Smooth Moisturizing Shave Gel, and it looks like that. Um, I used almost all of this, but sadly, it got left open in the shower, and so a bunch of water got in here, so now it's pretty much just water mixed with a little bit at the end, so I'm not going to worry about that. This works actually really, really well. It's like a blue gel, literally, when it comes out, you put it on your legs. It's kind of a weird texture, consistency kind of thing but it really moisturizes it really helped to reduce any kind of razor burn or anything gave me a pretty close shave so I like it and I would probably repurchase this then I have a little sample of the um, Nivea soft moisturizing cream that is what that looks like here I really really like this I don't I think this came in like a Walmart beauty box or something but it twists off like this the smell is just so just fresh and pleasant um, it's it comes in this little container here which you can see I emptied out I like this a lot. I would use this at night when I got out of the shower before I went to bed just to use on my hands. My pants felt really soft afterward. They felt soft the next morning. Um, and I actually just bought another one of these from the drugstore. And I think it was like a dollar and ten cents or something. I got it at CVS and it's actually on my desk at work because my hands just seem to get really dry this time of year. And so I just open this up, you know, get a little bit on my finger. My hands feel great. So I really love this stuff. Then I had a body wash from Dove. This is the Dove Purely Pampering Nourishing Body Wash in Pistachio Cream and Magnolia. That is what that looks like there. I really like this. It smells super, super good. Normally, I'm not a big magnolia flower scent person, but something about the pistachio cream mixed in with it just kind of gave it a nutty, I don't know. It just, it smelled really, really good. It was super moisturizing. I loved it. I would definitely purchase this again at some point when I need another body wash. It's just right now I really don't. Also, I finished this body wash from Philosophy. This is the Snow Angel. Um, this smells so incredible. I really, really like this. I got this, not this past year, not in 2015, but in 2014. So it took me a little over a year to use this because I just used so many other things at the same time. But this smells really good. I think this is probably like a co-ed, co-ed product. Is that what you call it? I was going to say a multi- 
multi-sex, that, <laughs> that sounds really, really bad, and that's not at all what, I, I, I don't know, that just came out completely wrong. Like, like, men and women can use it, let's put it that way. It's a co-ed body wash, that sounds a lot better than the other way. Um, but it smells really good, it just has sort of a little bit of a masculine undertone to it, but at the same time, just really, really nice. So Snow Angel from Philosophy, I really like this. I got it when it was $10 after Christmas last year. Then I have um, this Moisturizing Shave Cream from Avalon Organics. I got this off of Vitacost. This is the lavender. It says it's rich, nourishing, and moisturizing for normal to dry skin, a shaving lotion. Um, I didn't finish all of this, and I'm just not going to. Um, it probably has about this much left. I don't like this. I tried. I mean, I used it a lot, and every time I used it, it's just I got razor burn. Um, it didn't lather. It didn't stick to my legs like it should have while I was shaving and I just I, like I said I got razor burn and I didn't feel like it gave me a close shave it like stuck in my razor so I don't know I wasn't I just I honestly just did not like this it did smell good though so maybe if you have really sensitive skin or something you might want to try it but I don't know Anyway, then I have this um, black soap facial cleanser. This is from Dr. Woods, and this looks really bad. The label does. You can't really even make that out at the top, but that's what the picture looks like anyway. Um, I got this off of Vitacost also. This is the, like I said, the black soap facial cleanser. It's for all skin types. Antioxidant formula with shea butter. I love this. I use the whole thing up. It smells really good. It has kind of like that um, menthol, like, earthy scent to it. But I really liked it. I mean, it was a nice formula. It really washed my face. My face felt really nice and fresh and clean afterwards. So this was really good and I would definitely repurchase this. Then I had a little sample of these Frownies eye gels. I think I got these from um, Jamie here on uh, YouTube and on Instagram. I'll link her below. But we, um, she sent me some stuff and I sent her some stuff. So anyway, she sent me this little sample of the Frownies eye gels. That's just what, um, so there was one set in here. I honestly cannot tell the difference when I used them. Now, I put them on underneath my eyes. It's those, like, uh, the gel things that, you know, form underneath your eyes. I like this, and they were okay. Um, they felt really nice and cooling, but it's like once I took them off, I really couldn't tell I'd used them. So maybe I would just need to use more over time. But while I was wearing them, they felt really good. Okay, the next thing that I have to talk about is, sadly, something that I was not crazy about and I wanted to love these so much. These are the Micellar Cleanser and Makeup Remover Towelettes from Trader Joe's. There's 20 in this packet. Um, I was really excited when we got a Trader Joe's a little bit closer to us than Atlanta and I didn't have to drive three hours anymore. I could just be there and in like an hour and 20 minutes I can be there now, which is great. So I grabbed these because I'd heard several people here talking about how much they like these. I didn't like them. I didn't think that they worked really well. Um, they're kind of, they were kind of dry. Maybe I just got a pack that the saturation wasn't that great in. Um, they smell good though, but they just, I don't know. I found that my face just felt kind of really kind of dry after I finished using them. And I just, I, I just didn't care for them. So I'm sorry, Trader Joe's. This is just not one of my favorites. Then I also finished up um, from Chlorine. This is another set of those smoothing and relaxing patches, the little under eye patches. That's what these look like here. Oh, there's a little diagram. So that's, you know, it was that kind of deal. Um, these worked okay also. They felt really good while I had them on my eyes, but it's like once I removed them, I really couldn't tell a difference. I don't know. I think that me and under eye patches just aren't really great friends at this point. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, then I finished up from Avon Care. This is the three-in-one cleansing lotion, like to clean your makeup off with, um, sort of like the cleansing balms and things. That's what it looks like here. I love this. I use the whole thing up and I have, um, I'm going to, well, I'm going to be ordering another one. I haven't ordered another one yet because I've got a couple other things I'm trying, but this worked really, really good. You just use it on your dry face. You just take the lotion, put it all over, use a washcloth to, you know, wipe the makeup and everything off. It works good. It didn't work super great on the eye makeup part, but that's not unusual for me. I usually have to get something else to kind of take care of that anyway, but for the rest of my face, this worked really, really well, and it felt really moisturized when I got finished, so that's one thing I really appreciate about this Avon line. Um, that even after you get it all off, you know, your face still feels soft and moisturized and all that good stuff. From Borica Beauty, I finished this Coconut and Coffee Natural Body Scrub. Um, they sent me this to just review at no cost, so I really, really appreciate that. Um, I really love it. It smells really good. 
just like coconut and coffee, just like it says. But that's the label here. Um, it's just an all over body scrub. It is honestly very, very messy in the shower because it is just like you're rubbing coffee all, grounds all over your body. But it works amazingly well at exfoliating and getting dead skin off and then when you're done you rinse it off but this is great I would highly recommend this um I need to actually get another one of these or a coffee scrub but I've seen several people here on YouTube that have DIYs for how they make their own body scrub with like coconut oil and coffee grounds and things so I'm actually going to try one of those out and see how that works but this is a really really fantastic product and I would definitely recommend it to anyone um Am I talking fast enough for you guys? All right, so this is um, from Ulta. I used uh, 50 premium oval cotton pads, just, you know, their regular Ulta line. Um, they worked good, they worked great. They were the bigger bigger oval sizes, so they were really great for, you know, helping to with my micellar water, things like that, so I really like those. Um, also went through a pack of these Swispers. They're the same thing, the oval shape, the 50 count. Um, I got these from Walmart. Um, I actually think I like the Swispers a little bit better, but honestly, they're super comparable and, you know, whatever your preference is. Um, I also found something that could become my holy grail. I'm just not sure how expensive a full size is because I haven't even priced it yet. My friend Justine, also here on YouTube, we swapped some stuff and she sent me this little baby bioderma from, she's in Canada, and so she sent this to me to try out. This is the one with the green top. I don't know the difference in all the different colors. I think there's a pink one and a blue one, but um, she sent me this little baby one with the green top. I love this stuff. It worked so good. Um, my favorite micellar water ever is the Simple, but this worked super great. I loved it and I cannot wait to uh, possibly purchase a full size of this, but I guess I need to go online and find out, you know, what I'm even looking at price wise. But anyway, it really didn't have much of a scent, but it just worked so, so good. Like after I would wash my face, get out of the shower. And first thing when I get up in the morning, I would put this on one of those like oval cotton pads and just run it all over my face. And it just felt fresh and clean and moisturized. And I don't know, I love it. Thank you so much, Justine. You have made me a believer in Bioderma because I've heard about it for years. Well, yeah, for two or three years, and I've never been able to try it. So thank you so much. And now I'm gonna have to figure out how to purchase full size. Um, let's see, what am I? I am at 15 minutes and 20 seconds. So we're gonna go to 16 minutes, and then by the time I edit this out, it'll probably be down to like 12-ish. Fingers crossed. Um, then also, I used up a little sample from Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, this is probably the third or fourth one of these that I've gone through. I haven't purchased full size because it's really expensive and I have other primers that I'm using that I that I like. Um, but the thing is, I really do love this primer. It's just that a full size costs a lot and so I just haven't, I haven't been that, what's it called, one over that I want to invest quite that much in the primer. But I love it and I will use a sample every single chance I get. Oh, we have apparently more, I guess I used a lot of cotton arounds. Of course, that has been probably three or four months. But anyway, these are from CVS, the premium cotton oval. So uh, the CVS ones, they work just fine too. Um, so I had CVS, Ulta, and Walmart all the same. But I still think out of the three, the Swispers from Walmart are probably my favorite ones. Um, I used up finally my Sheer Cotton and Lemonade Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel. This came out during the summer and I really love this. That's where it looks like a little bit closer up. Cotton Blossom is my favorite anyway, so this is great. I love it. It smells so, so, so good. And that just little bit of like a lemon kick behind it, it's absolutely heaven. I love it, love it, love it. And I hope they come out with it and continue to have this next summer. Because I will definitely be repurchasing that. Okay, guys, that's all I'm going to do right now. I'll do some more later. Thank you so much for watching this episode and talking all this trash with me and listening to me talk about my trash. Um, I hope you guys have a really, really fantastic weekend. I will have some other videos coming up soon. Thank you for sticking with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I am so glad that you all find me interesting enough or find my things interesting enough. Hey, guys. Okay, so I just started to edit this video. And when I got to the end, I realized that my conclusion did not record. I don't know what happened. I think I got a phone call, so it stopped recording because I used my phone. And then um, when the call ended, I thought I hit record so I could finish recording, but I didn't. So anyway, this is going to be my conclusion. I'm sorry it doesn't 
like match with the rest of my video. But anyway, what I said was thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. If you have not subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would. And if you enjoyed this video a little bit and would love to see more of my trash in some future videos, then just give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. So have a super great weekend. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.